The Life and Sad Ending of Ed Asner Ed Asner was born on November 15, 1929, in Kansas City, Missouri, U.S. height 170 centimeters. His Jewish-Russian-born parents, Lizzie, a housewife, and Morris David Asner ran a second-hand shop and junkyard. He was raised in an Orthodox Jewish family and given the Hebrew name Yitzhak. Asner attended Wyandotte High School in Kansas City, Kansas, and the University of Chicago. He worked on the assembly line for General Motors. Asner served with the U.S. Army Signal Corps and appeared in plays that toured Army camps in Europe. In life I may encounter things that I cannot expect. This life is indeed impermanent. It is long, but it is also short. As the Russian poet Yevgeny Evtyshenko said a sentence that could not be more true, is to thank all that has happened around this life or to even the most unlucky fate. Thank you for everything. And thank you for your tears of suffering because when you cry, you are alive, and you are alive, you are happy because very simply people are not born to die, so enjoy even happy memories, even sad ones. So that we feel more in love with life because life is so lovely after all. Asner was married to Nancy Sykes from 1959 to 1988. They have three children, twins Matthew and Liza, and Kate. In 1987, he had a son named Charles with Carol Jean Vogelman. Asner is a parent and a grandparent of a child with autism and is involved with the 501 nonprofit organization Autism Speaks. He has also served as a board member and advisor for Espiritech, a 501 nonprofit organization that trains high functioning autistic persons to test software and perform quality assurance services to companies. Asner became engaged to producer Cindy Gilmore in 1991. They married on August 2, 1998. Gilmore filed for legal separation on November 7, 2007. Asner filed for divorce in 2015. Made frequent guest appearances with the successor to Compass, The Second City. In New York City, Asner played Jonathan Jeremiah Peacham in the off-Broadway revival of Three Penny Opera, scored his first Broadway role in Face of a Hero alongside Jack Lemmon in 1960, and began to make inroads as a television actor, having made his TV debut in 1957 on Studio One. In two notable performances on television, Asner played Detective Sergeant Thomas Cirolio in the 1963 episode of The Outer Limits titled It Crawled Out of the Woodwork and the reprehensible ex-premier Brynev in the 1965 Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea episode The Exile. He made his film debut in 1962 in the Elvis Presley vehicle Kid Galahad. Before he landed his role with Mary Tyler Moore, Asner Guest starred in television series including the syndicated crime drama Decoy, starring Beverly Garland, and Route 66 in 1962 as custody officer Lincoln Piers. He was cast on Jack Lord's ABC drama series Stony Burke and in the series finale of CBS's The Reporter, starring Harry Gardino. He also appeared on Mr. Novak, Mission, Impossible, The Outer Limits, and The Invaders. In 1963, Asner appeared as George Johnson on The Virginian in the episode Echo of Another Day. Asner is best known for his character Lou Grant, who was first introduced on The Mary Tyler Moore Show in 1970. In 1977, after the series, Asner's character was given his own show, Lou Grant. In contrast to the Mary Tyler Moore series, a 30-minute award-winning comedy about television journalism, the Lou Grant series was an hour-long award-winning drama about newspaper journalism. For his role as Grant, Asner is one of only two actors to win an Emmy Award for a sitcom and a drama for the same role, with the second being Uzo Aduba. In addition, he made appearances as Lou Grant on two other shows, Rhoda and Roseanne. Other television series starring Asner in regular roles include Thunder Alley, The Bronx Zoo, and Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. He also starred in one episode of the Western series Dead Mont's Gun, 
as well as portraying art smuggler August March in an episode of the original Hawaii Five O and reprised the role in the Hawaii Five O remake. He also appeared as a veteran streetwise officer in an episode of the 1973 version of Police Story. Astner was acclaimed for his role in the ABC miniseries Roots, as Captain Davies, the morally conflicted captain of the Lord Ligonier, the slave ship that brought Kunta Kinte to America. The role earned Astner an Emmy Award, as did the similarly dark role of Axel Jordash in the miniseries Rich Man, Poor Man. Astner has had an extensive voice acting career. In 1987, he played the eponymous character, George F. Babbitt, in the L.A. Classic Theater Works radio theater production of Sinclair Lewis' novel, Babbitt. He also provided the voices for Joshua on Joshua and the Battle of Jericho for Hanna-Barbera, J. Jonah Jameson on the 1990s animated television series Spider-Man, Hoggish Greedley on Captain Planet and the Planeteers, Next Asner provided the voice of famed American orator Edward Everett in the 2017 documentary film The Gettysburg Address. Asner provided the voice of Carl Fredrickson in the Academy Award-winning Pixar film Up. He received great critical praise for the role, with one critic going so far as to suggest they should create a new category for this year's Academy Award for Best Vocal Acting in an Animated Film and name Asner as the first recipient. In 2001, Asner was the recipient of the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award. Asner has won more Emmy Awards for performing than any other male actor. In 1996, he was inducted into the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame. In July 2010, Asner completed recording sessions for Shattered Hopes, the true story of the Amityville murders, a documentary on the 1974 DeFeo murders in Amityville, New York. Also in 2010, Asner played the title role in FDR, a stage production about the life of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He has subsequently continued to tour the play throughout the country. In January 2011, Asner took a supporting role on CMT's first original sitcom Working Class. He made an appearance in the independent comedy feature Not Another B-Movie and had a role as billionaire Warren Buffett in HBO's economic drama Too Big to Fail. Asner has also provided voiceover narration for many documentaries and films of social activism, including Tiger by the Tail, a documentary film detailing the efforts of the campaign to keep GM Van Nuys open and the chair of the organization, Eric Mann, to keep General Motors' Van Nuys assembly plant running. He has also recorded for a public radio show and podcast, playing on air, appearing in Warren Late's The Final Interrogation of Siaskis Dog with Jesse Eisenberg, and Mike Reese's New York Story. A 2014 documentary titled My Friend Ed, directed by Sharon Baker focused on the actor's life and career. It won Best Short Documentary at the New York City Independent Film Festival. Asner was the voiceover narrator for the 2016 documentary Behind the Fear, The Hidden Story of HIV, directed by Nicole Zwerin, a controversial study on the AIDS debate. Beginning in 2016, Asner took on the role of Holocaust survivor Milton Saltzman in Jeff Cohen's acclaimed play The Soap Myth in reading at Lincoln Center's Bruno Walter Theater in New York. He subsequently toured for the next three years in concert readings of the play in more than a dozen cities across the United States. The performance, which is available for free, worldwide live streaming, co-stars Tava Feldshu, Ned Eisenberg, and Libba Weinberg. Further plans for Asner to perform the play have been postponed during the coronavirus pandemic. In 2018, Asner was cast in the Netflix dark comedy, Dead to Me, which premiered on May 3, 2019. The series also stars Christina Applegate, Linda Cardellini, and James Marsden. Also in 2018, Asner portrayed Johnny Lawrence's stepfather, Sid Weinberg, in a guest role on the Cobra Kai series. Rumor has it that the character who plays Lou Grant is in poor health due to old age and weakness. Reports of my imminent demise are greatly exaggerated. 
They tell me I am suffering from exhaustion. Thanks for the good wishes. The veteran actor wrote. Was it a lie about his health? It was time to verify it.